about a week ago I uploaded a video that garnered a ton of hate. I will admit, I didn't go into specifics in that video. I talk a lot about context, but I didn't add much myself. Well, here you go. This is why I don't believe Billy Carson. I want to start off with one of Billy Carson's sources of information. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean Priest King, supposedly found in the Great Pyramid some 36,000 years BC. No, it wasn't. I know, I know, you want to give your opinions in the comments, just hear me out. These Emerald Tablets were not authored by Thoth the Atlantean Priest King, but by a name, but by a man, but by a nam, but by a, <laughs> but by a man named Claude Doggins. Claude Doggins, fuck. Or his more famous pen name, Maurice Doriel. In 1930, Doriel founded the Brotherhood of the White Temple, which he then appointed himself the head of. Yes, he just made himself the Grand Master. Doriel claimed to have been sent out on a journey to Giza, Egypt, to retrieve the Emerald Tablets from the Great Pyramid. Remember, he is the leader, so did he appoint himself? So Doriel sets out to Egypt, retrieves the Emerald Tablets from the Great Pyramid, returns to the Brotherhood of the White Lodge, translates it, and then publishes it on Amazon for 1745 for the hardcover. Obviously, I'm joking, but he did publish his translations at the time. Now, what if I told you the tablets were not written by the Atlantean Priest King? I think I did say that before, actually. It was not discovered in the Great Pyramid, and it does not date back to some 36,000 BC. In fact, what if I told you they don't even exist? I did almost take that line for line from Annie XT's video. You should definitely go check his video out. He explains it in way better detail than I ever could. Go check his video out. The link's in the description. He gives way more background. The truth is, Maurice Doriel was a big fan of UFOs and I guess the idea of a lost ancient civilization dating back 36,000 BC. Basically, he loved science fiction. So there's a few problems here that I see straight off the bat. For one, who is this guy to go to Egypt on his first trip? Just to clarify, there's no evidence to support Doriel ever even went to Egypt or even entered the Great Pyramid. Let's even say he's able to read hieroglyphics. Or no, if it was written by the Atlantean priest king himself, it's definitely the language of the Atlanteans, right? So Doriel retrieves the tablets from the Great Pyramid, returns back to the Brotherhood of the White Temple, then translates it himself? Yes. He is credited for this. Everyone credits him for it. I don't get that part alone. I guess Doriel has some secret occult information because how did no one find the tablets before him? What made him special? Maybe I'm missing something though. Leave your comments. My whole point is, all we have to go on is Maurice Doriel's word. And when it comes to these emerald tablets of Thoth the Atlantean, that's not enough for me. It doesn't balance out the scale of what he's claiming. I have tried to read it, and there's definitely powerful messages about the undertones of life in the writing. But unfortunately, it's just not a real historical document in any way whatsoever. Well, as far as we know, for now. So this is the main reason why I don't believe Billy Carson. I didn't add much context to the last video, but now you have the clip notes of some of the context, and you can make up your own mind. So this video is ultimately about context. Muhammad Hassan writes in a research paper of context of the study. Identify the research problem. Start by clearly defining the research problem or question you are investigating. Any question about the past, for example, that you want to know about. Provide background information. Once you have identified the research problem, provide some background information that will help the reader understand the context of the study. This might include a brief history of the topic, relevant statistics or data, or previous research on the subject. Something that I've noticed Billy Carson doesn't really tend to do. Explain the significance. Explain why the research is significant. This could be because it addresses an important problem or because it contributes to a theoretical or practical understanding of the topic. What's actually going on in history, for example. Still reading from the context of study research paper. These are the advantages of having context. Increased validity. Considering the context can help ensure that the study is relevant to the population being studied and that the findings are more representative of the real world. This can increase the validity of the study and help ensure that its conclusions are accurate. Enhanced understanding. By examining the context of the study, researchers can gain a deeper understanding of the factors that influence the phenomenon under investigation. This can lead to more nuanced findings and a richer understanding of the topic. 100%. Improve generalizability. Contextualizing the study can help ensure that the findings are applicable to other settings and populations beyond the specific sample studied. 
you ultimately gain a bigger understanding of all civilization in a way. And the final one, better interpretation of the results. Understanding the context of the study can help researchers interpret their results more accurately and avoid drawing incorrect conclusions. This can help ensure that the study contributes to the body of knowledge in the field and has practical applications. Long story short, what we know and using that concrete information in the future to determine more things. I made this video to explain to you that I'm not the best communicator all the time, but there are reasons I don't believe Billy Carson overall. That is not an ad hominem attack, that is my opinion. And I've shared a lot more context with you in this video to hopefully help you understand why my opinion has swayed in that direction. When I would have eaten this up in my pyramidiate Graham Mancockian days. Shout out Dan from the Duncan. Billy Carson says a lot and makes a lot of points, with some truths in there. He's definitely done his research, but if you look into any one of these ancient sites, individually with the context of the surrounding area, you'll find a world with way more magic, mystery and history than you ever thought possible. Anyway, that is why I don't believe Billy Carson. He says a whole lot and doesn't give any context most of the time. Sometimes he does. His appearance on the Ryan Sean show was pretty interesting to watch. Shout out to the commenter who said I should check that out. But that's going to be it from me. More videos on history topics coming very soon. Subscribe, turn on the bell so you're in the loop. I've also got a bit of a catalog going so if you're interested, you know. Thank you so much for watching though. I appreciate your time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.